Good morning, my crafty friends. I'm Leslie, and thank you so much for stopping by Crafty Cards with Leslie. Today's card was inspired by the teddy bear in the Love Notes collection by Close to My Heart. I started using this collection and made a few more rocker cards, like the one you see here. If you'd like to find out more about the rocker card process video, you'll find it in the list of videos from about four weeks ago. Just stroll, scroll down the list. The only difference with this one is the circle is much larger than the one in the videos, but the same process. The teddy bear card that we're going to make today, I'll pop this one on one side, is this one. It reminds me of actually of an old black and white movie and it's um, such a cute little teddy bear. So the card, it's, um, yeah, I, I really like the way it's a gatefold card, obviously, but it's got the little interactive frame that, that just slides right into it. Very easy to make. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly how to make this card. This is the first one that I made actually. And I thought I used the, um, the Honeybee um, paper collection, which is a, a discontinued one. But I thought, you know, teddy bears and honey pots sort of go together. So this is the one that I use for this one. It's so cute. And an easy way of doing, um, making little images like this is to use a paper in the same color tone that you want the the actual finished part to be um, uh, to look like. So you save a lot. Uh, lot, lot there's a lot less coloring to do on something like this. So anyway, why don't we just get started? I've already colored in a few little bears. So um, I'll pop that one there, and then we'll start with this. So this is a regular size card four and a quarter by five and a half but just folded a little differently the um the size is uh, five and a quarter by eight and a half sorry five and a half by eight and a half and then you score two and an eighth on either side fold it in and then just use your bone folder and this is white daisy cardstock just use your bone folder just to uh, get a nice crisp fold on the edges So we've got that one all folded. So I'm just going to take a piece. These are all pre-cut. Try and save a little bit of time. And these are five and a half by two inches. So the other side of that is quite nice as well. It's the same as it's a discontinued um, um, collection. But I'm sure you've got quite a few different papers that are suitable in your stash. And you can just leave it plain or just put a plain cardstock as well. So this goes right, oops, right up to the top and the bottom and just a little, little border on either side. And the same with the next one. You can ink the, ink the edges if you wish, but I think with a pattern as busy as this one, I don't think you, that's really necessary. There we go. So this just fits around like this. And what I used for this one is just a frame uh, circle die. Now, if you don't have a frame, this has got a little stitch in it and it's I quite like this one. If you don't have one like this, you can just put two circles together a different widths. And so you create that border and then just put it through, just tape it, put it through your die cut machine. And um, that's an easy way to make a circle frame. Um, just keep the, the center part. And then that's what we're gonna use for this. So what I did with this one is attach this one first. I find it's easier. I tried a few different ways to do this. Um, and I find this way it's a little bit easier to position it. So if you've got that one down already, and what I'm going to do with this one, this cardstock here is the pewter one, and um, sorry, the the lighter one, the one with the teddy bear, is the pewter one, and the darker one is the charcoal one. So what I'm going to do is use the charcoal ink, and I'm just going to do a few little um, splashes around the edge. 
so you can oops you can actually just splatter your paper too just gives just takes the plainness off the background really and that's all you need to do okay so once we've got that on let's go ahead and do this now with this one I actually made it so it was um, a little bit thicker so I put a, another white one there and then just glued the two together just sort of reinforces it a little bit let's go ahead and do that and just a little bit of glue around the edge You want to make sure these are glued exactly together because the circle one won't fit in. If it's slightly off, it won't fit in at all and it will catch. So you don't want that. So that, that should be good. Got a little bit of glue on the outside there. That's okay. It does dry. Well, it is a clear glue, but it, it does dry clear and you won't be able to see it. A bit all over my hands of course the clock would be handy but I don't have one so oh well never mind I'll just stick to everything so what we want to do now is just when this is down as I said I tried to experiment with this a few different ways of doing it but I found if you close the card and then just put a little bit of glue just around the edge of the circle make sure you don't touch the circle and then you can put this right over the top And that should hold. Okay, there you go. It's as simple as that. It's a really neat little gatefold card, I think. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to open it up. As you can see, I stamped on the back of this, but I don't like throwing paper away because what you don't see, it, uh, it won't hurt. So we could do a, a grey one inside there. Or we could go to a white one. It's nice to be able to cover that up though so you don't, um, um, it, ju it just sort of finishes it off and the same with that one on the other side. So let's go ahead and do the white one I think and we'll just use the tape runner for this. There again you want to make sure it's a perfect fit if not it won't fit into the the actual frame circle. Okay, and let's go ahead and put this down here as well. And I'll put glue on this side. Just a little bit. And then straight over the top. It just finishes it off and it still gives you plenty of room to write your messages inside your card. Just hold it down for a second. The heat of your hand will actually help the glue to, to set. There we go. And just test it. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's do the teddy bear. As I said, I've already colored a couple. Uh, this actually does come with a die, but I wanted to have them um, cut very, very close to the um, actual image. If not, it would, it just, it just fits on that circle. So um, what I used was, as I said, the uh, pewter ink, and then I used the um, ice gray blends and just blended um, around the edges. It doesn't take an awful lot. And then what I did was to take my trusty ink daubers and this gives it a little bit more uh, definition on the sides. Gives it a little bit more of a 3D effect. So I just go all the way around there. I think it just finishes it off when you just touch it up. And if you, if you don't um, cut it close enough and you get little uh, pieces of um, cardstock sort of show in this covers it up so it's a very effective way of doing it 
so with this one, I actually did the um, foam tape underneath. So I think I'll do this again on this one. And I used the thicker foam tape. Close to my heart foam tape comes in two different widths, which is very handy for different projects. And I'll use the, the larger one for this one. Oops, I'm move a few more things out of the way here. And you don't need an awful lot on there. Actually, maybe just do one down the middle. Better put my glue on there, glue top. There you go. And uh, maybe just a little, little one at the side there, on the ears maybe. And the other side. And with um, this one here, I put a little bow on. You could put it on its ear as well. Um, and then a little heart. I'll show you the hearts. They're quite nice, the little puffy hearts. So you just want to make sure this is going to be within the circle. So you don't want it catching on the circle frame. I think that should be okay. Oops, that one's not sticking. I should have held it down a little bit more. There we go, that's good. It's okay, you can always go back and just add a little bit more glue if you need to. Okay, well with this one, I used this, which is from another die, another, sorry, another stamp set, which is, oops, it has gone walkabout. I thought I had left it out, but maybe not. It, um, oh yeah, I did. It's from this one, which is really cute. I really like teddy bears. Uh, so teddy bear hugs, this one is. It is a discontinued one, but I really like this little sentiment here. Uh, sending you a big bear hug. I thought that was quite worked quite well with this set. And we'll just choose, I'll use the glue actually for this one. Just a little bit on the back. And with this actually is just a piece of cardboard. I think it's from a uh, Christmas card actually. Um, I tend to, if there's a little bit of a thicker cardboard, I tend to cut them out and just save them for things like this. Very handy if you've got the die and then you can just stack them together, glue them. Okay, so that's just gonna go right there and I think I'll use my tape runner for that one. I should do it. Okay, so this is part of the um, the kit. It's a card, love notes card kit, and it comes with all of the the dies, the stamps, the papers, and then these puffy stickers, which I really like. So we did a white one on this. Maybe we'll do a pink one on this one. They are, I don't know if you can see, but they are dimensional. Let me pop that one on. Oops. That reminds me of the Care Bears. That's from a few decades ago. I don't know if they still make them. Very cute bears. Okay, so we'll give this little guy a, um, a bow. And I've already got one made here. So we could put it there, we could put it there. And I'll just cut a few little tails off and maybe put it underneath his neck or her neck. A bit there. And I use these little glue dots to attach it. And I find if you actually just take the glue dot off there, they are very, very sticky. And just pull it up a little, whoops, pull it up a little bit. And then 
put it down. I find sometimes when you try and stick it to the, um, especially if it's fabric, something like a, a ribbon, it um, it tends to, I have a problem with it. it. They tend to sort of clump up and stick, but that seems to work quite well. Now with this one, of course, it wouldn't be one of my cards unless I use the, uh, the liquid glass. So I put this one just on the, where his claws would be, a little bit on the tummy, the nose and the eyes. So let's go ahead and do that with this one. So start on the nose. You don't need very much, it just adds a little shine to it. Just on the outline of the tummy, the claws, the hands and the feet, and maybe put a little bit on the ears too. So really, that's all you need to do with this card. Um, now, I'll just show you one little tip. I don't know, everybody seems to have a problem tying uh, ribbon for little, little tiny bows. And I always find the easiest thing to do is to do what I used to tell my kids to do when they were little. Make two little bunny ears and then just through the loop. And then you can just adjust the size, just to pull it down, tighten it, pull it down, and then just tighten it. Very, very easy bows. And if you're putting glue on the back, they're not gonna unravel, so. Yeah, that seems to uh, work quite well. So I'll list everything I've used for this card, which is also available on my online store. If you have any questions, please leave, leave a message in the comments section. Also, if you've enjoyed this video and learned something new, please hit the thumbs up icon and consider um, subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.